There is a question that has followed humanity through every age of discovery, whispered beneath the mathematics of ancient stargazers and encoded now in the algorithms of our most powerful machines. What if the universe we inhabit is not the whole story? What if everything we see, every galaxy and every photon of light stretching across billions of years to reach our instruments, represents only a fraction of what actually exists? This is not mysticism. It is a serious proposition from theoretical physics, one that has occupied some of the finest minds of the past century. And in recent years, a convergence of technologies has begun to offer something unprecedented, the faint possibility that we might actually test it. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye on the cosmos, continues to deliver images of such clarity and depth that astronomers are still learning how to interpret what they are seeing. Meanwhile, quantum computing has matured to the point where it can analyze patterns in data that would overwhelm any classical machine. And string theory, long criticized as beautiful mathematics with no experimental anchor, remains the most complete framework we have for unifying gravity with the other fundamental forces, a framework that requires the existence of extra spatial dimensions. Today, we are going to explore what these three threads of modern science actually tell us. Not through sensationalism, but through careful examination of what is known, what is theorized, and what remains genuinely mysterious. Because the real story, the authentic scientific pursuit of hidden dimensions, is far more compelling than any fabricated headline. Let us begin with what the James Webb Space Telescope has actually shown us. In December 2022, JWST released one of its most spectacular images, a deep field observation of Abel 2744, a massive galaxy cluster located approximately 3.5 billion light years from Earth. This cluster, sometimes called Pandora's Cluster, is extraordinary not just for its size but for its history. It is the result of at least four smaller galaxy clusters colliding over hundreds of millions of years, creating a gravitational environment so complex that it warps the fabric of space-time around it. This warping is called gravitational lensing, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity over a century ago. Massive objects curve space-time, and light traveling through that curved space-time bends accordingly. The result, when we observe it from Earth, is that background galaxies behind the cluster appear distorted, stretched into arcs and sometimes duplicated into multiple images of the same source. JWST captured this lensing effect with unprecedented precision. Its infrared instruments, designed to peer through cosmic dust and detect light that has been stretched by the expansion of the universe, revealed background galaxies that had never been seen before. Some of these galaxies date to within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang itself, making them among the oldest structures ever observed. Now here is where we need to be very clear about what the data shows and what it does not. The gravitational lensing patterns in Abel 2744 are, to date, entirely consistent with general relativity. There is no peer-reviewed publication demonstrating anomalies in these images that require extra-dimensional explanations. The mathematics of how light bends around massive objects has been tested extensively, and JWST's observations continue to confirm Einstein's predictions with remarkable accuracy. But this does not mean the question of extra dimensions is closed. Far from it. The reason physicists continue to take this possibility seriously lies in problems that general relativity alone cannot solve. Consider gravity. It is by far the weakest of the four fundamental forces. Electromagnetism, which governs the interactions between charged particles, is roughly 10 to the 36th power times stronger than gravity. That is one followed by 36 zeros. Why is there such an enormous disparity? One elegant answer, proposed most famously by physicists Lisa Randall and Raman Sundram in 1999, is that gravity is not actually weak. Instead, it may be leaking into dimensions we cannot perceive, diluting its strength in our observable three-dimensional space. In their model, our universe exists on a membrane, or brain, embedded in a higher-dimensional space called the bulk. Gravity, unlike other forces, could propagate through this bulk, which would explain why it appears so feeble to us. This is not speculation pulled from thin air. The randall sundrum model is a mathematically rigorous framework that makes specific predictions about how physics should behave at very small scales and very high energies. It emerged from string theory, the theoretical edifice that attempts to describe all particles and forces as different vibrational modes of one-dimensional strings. 
String theory, in its various formulations, requires extra dimensions for mathematical consistency. The most studied versions require 10 total dimensions. The three spatial dimensions we experience, one dimension of time, and six additional spatial dimensions that are compactified, curled up so tightly that they are far too small for us to detect directly. How small? Current estimates suggest these extra dimensions, if they exist, would be on the order of the Planck length, approximately 10 to the minus 35th meters. That is a billion billion times smaller than a proton. No instrument humanity has ever built comes close to probing these scales. And yet, there are ways extra dimensions might leave indirect signatures. Gravitational waves, for instance, travel through space-time itself. If extra dimensions exist, gravitational waves might leak into them, causing subtle losses of energy that could be detected as discrepancies in our measurements. Similarly, at extremely high energies such as those achieved briefly in particle accelerators or present in the earliest moments of the universe, extra dimensions might manifest as unexpected particle behaviors or gravitational effects. This is where quantum computing enters the conversation, and here we must be careful to separate genuine capability from overstated promise. Quantum computers operate on principles fundamentally different from classical machines. Where classical bits exist as either zero or one, quantum bits, qubits, can exist in superpositions of both states simultaneously. When multiple qubits are entangled, the system can explore many possible configurations at once, enabling certain calculations that would be impractical on classical hardware. Google's Sycamore processor, which demonstrated quantum supremacy in 2019, can perform specific tasks exponentially faster than classical supercomputers. More recently, IBM, IonQ, and other institutions have continued advancing the field, and researchers have begun exploring applications in cosmological data analysis. The genuine promise here is pattern recognition in extremely high-dimensional data spaces. Astronomical observations from instruments like JWST generate enormous data sets. Each image contains not just visual information, but spectral data at multiple wavelengths, polarization measurements, and temporal variations. Extracting subtle signals from this data, signals that might indicate new physics require sophisticated analysis techniques, Classical machine learning has already proven valuable in identifying gravitationally lensed galaxies, classifying stellar types, and detecting exoplanet transits. Quantum machine learning, still in its infancy, could theoretically extend these capabilities by processing correlations in data that classical algorithms might miss. However, and this is crucial, no published peer-reviewed study has demonstrated a quantum algorithm detecting signatures of extra dimensions in JWST data. Such a claim, if verified, would represent one of the most significant discoveries in the history of physics. It would require extraordinary evidence subjected to rigorous, independent replication. As of now, this evidence does not exist in the scientific literature. What does exist is a long and careful effort by experimentalists to constrain the properties of any extra dimensions that might be present. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN, the most powerful particle accelerator ever built, has searched for signs of extra dimensions through several avenues. One approach looks for microscopic black holes that would form if gravity becomes strong at the TeV energy scale, as some extra-dimensional models predict. Another searches for missing energy signatures in particle collisions, which would indicate particles escaping into extra dimensions. So far, these searches have found nothing beyond the standard model, placing limits on how large extra dimensions could be. Astrophysical observations provide complementary constraints. The behavior of binary pulsars, neutron stars orbiting each other and emitting precise radio pulses matches general relativistic predictions with extraordinary precision. Any leakage of gravitational energy into extra dimensions would alter these orbital dynamics, and the absence of such deviations constrains how strongly gravity could couple to extra dimensions. The cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang mapped in exquisite detail by satellites like Planck, contains information about the geometry of the universe at the largest scales. Extra dimensions, if sufficiently large, would leave imprints in this radiation pattern. No such imprints have been definitively identified. None of this means extra dimensions do not exist. It means that if they do, they are either very small, consistent with traditional string theory, compactification, or very different in structure from the simplest models. Physics is a process of successive refinement, 
and negative results are as important as positive ones in guiding that process. There is a deeper question here, one worth pausing to consider. Why does this search matter so much? Part of the answer is practical. Understanding the true nature of space-time could unlock technologies we cannot currently imagine. Part is intellectual. The unification of quantum mechanics and gravity, the two pillars of modern physics that remain stubbornly incompatible, would represent the culmination of a century of theoretical effort. But there is something more. Every generation of humans has looked at the cosmos and asked what lies beyond the visible. We have discovered, again and again, that our intuitions about reality are incomplete. Earth is not the center of the universe. Space and time are not absolute. Matter is composed of atoms, which are composed of subatomic particles, which may themselves be composed of something more fundamental still. Each expansion of our understanding has been humbling and exhilarating in equal measure. The question of hidden dimensions sits at the edge of current knowledge. Where speculation meets data, where mathematics strains toward truths we may not yet have the instruments to confirm. The James Webb Space Telescope, in its quiet orbit around the second Lagrange point, continues to gather light from the most distant reaches of the cosmos. Its observations of gravitational lensing, early galaxies, and cosmic structure will provide data for decades of analysis. Somewhere in that data may lurk hints of physics beyond our current models. Not necessarily extra dimensions, but perhaps new insights into dark matter, dark energy, or the early universe that will reshape our understanding. Quantum computing, still emerging from its infancy, will likely become a standard tool in the analysis of such complex data sets. As hardware improves and error rates decline, algorithms designed to detect subtle correlations may reveal patterns invisible to classical methods. Whether these patterns will point toward extra dimensions, new particles, or something entirely unexpected remains unknown. What we can say with confidence is this, the scientific method is designed precisely for questions like these. Hypotheses are proposed based on theoretical consistency. Predictions are derived and tested against observation. Negative results constrain the hypothesis. Positive results demand replication. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and the community waits, with appropriate skepticism and genuine hope, for data that might transform our picture of reality. For now, string theory remains a theoretical framework without direct experimental confirmation. The extra dimensions it predicts remain hidden, if they exist at all. The James Webb Space Telescope has not, as of this moment, provided verified evidence of dimensions beyond the three we experience. And quantum computing, while powerful, has not unlocked secrets that classical analysis missed. But the search continues. New observations are planned. New analysis techniques are developed and the fundamental questions remain as pressing as ever. What is the true geometry of space-time? How many dimensions does reality contain? And what other surprises await us in the vast dark between the stars? These are questions worthy of our best instruments, our most rigorous thinking, and our deepest humility. The universe does not owe us easy answers, but it has, throughout human history, rewarded those who looked closely and questioned honestly. Perhaps the next image from Webb, or the next generation of quantum processors, or the next flash of theoretical insight, will illuminate a corner of reality we have not yet seen. Perhaps the hidden dimensions will remain hidden, and our models will require entirely different revisions. Either way, the pursuit itself ennobles us, connecting us to every scientist, philosopher, and wondering child who has ever looked up at the night sky and asked, what more is there? That question, simple and ancient, remains the engine of discovery. And as long as we continue to ask it, with rigor and wonder in equal measure, the frontier of knowledge will continue to expand. For now, we watch, we calculate, we wait, and in that waiting, in that patient accumulation of evidence, lies the truest expression of the scientific spirit. The cosmos keeps its secrets close, but we are learning, slowly, carefully to listen.